Hello and welcome to another Camel's Hump Middle School Design Technology Screencast. This episode we're going to be talking about the Boss Laser software. Uh, this is our final step before going to the laser. If you are listening to this now, it means that you have successfully exported your golf putter head from 123D Make and are ready for this step. Okay, beginnings. Let's come up to the desktop, upper left. Click on the red and black icon, the RDWorks V8 Boss Laser software. Okay, welcome to Boss Laser Software. Same uh, functions on the mouse apply. The only function that we've got, though, is the two-dimensional moving tool, which is clicking the scroll wheel, moving it around. There's no three-dimensional movement in this program. We can also zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. Okay? Now, first thing we need to do, we need to import our file that's waiting for us exactly where we put it. Now, you might be greeted with any number of things in this window, but we need to get from this PC to the students folder, to design tech, to eighth grade, to your team. Okay, I have a file waiting for me in Sequoia. I'm going to double click that. Here's my file. That looks quite a bit like what I saw on 123D Make. Here are my slices. Okay, a couple things to introduce you to, to Boss Laser. We've got two different colors over here. Each corresponds with a different function on the laser. Okay, first thing we need to do though is we need to get rid of this blue line and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so click anywhere on the screen everything's going to turn blue. Okay. See this box? Everyone's going to get this box surrounding their objects when they import. We don't want that box. So single click right on that box and it should turn red. Everything else should turn blue. Once that's selected, press delete on the keyboard and it goes away. Okay. Now, next thing we need to do, select one of your slices. It doesn't matter what slice. Just select anything on the, on the screen. Make sure you select it. Press control A. Select everything, come down to the bottom of the screen, click red. Okay, voila. Now we're just down to red, which corresponds with cutting. Okay, do me a favor and double click on this red. This is going to come up. Just double check. This should all look like this. Your output should say yes. Your speed should be 7. Your power, all four of these boxes, should be 85. All of these should look like this. Zeros for seal, zero, zero for the delays, 50 for through power. Okay? If it looks like that, you're good to go. The critical pieces are yes, cut, 7, and the 85s here. Okay, good. Now, a couple bits of housekeeping that we need to do. I'm going to do one example, and I'm going to leave the rest up to you. Okay? These numbers right here correspond with the slice numbers. They're really useful, so we know that one goes first, and then two, and then three, and so on and so forth. Okay? These are set up right now to get cut all the way through the slice. We don't want that. Okay? We just want them engraved so they're useful, but we don't want to see them on the other side of the slice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom right into this one right here. I'm going to draw a box around it. I'm going to delete it Okay, using delete on the keyboard. Come over here to your text tool. Click that. Click right where the previous one was, enter whatever number it was that you just deleted, press OK. Okay? This, we're going to move down, we're going to position it. Now if I click outside of it, it's red still. Alright? I don't want it red, because red means cut. So I want it blue, so I'm going to select it, I'm going to come down here, I'm going to click blue. Look at that. I've got a whole new line over here called scan. Now, double click on this blue over here. Make sure that your output says yes, that your speed says 300. Some of you, it will not say 300. Make that change, okay? We want this to say scan. We want these powers down here to say 30 in each of them, okay? Make sure that's all correct. Good. Now, I'm going to have you do that for all of your other slices, okay? Come in, adjust all of these numbers, each of them. When you want to, if you think you're ready, this is a fun tool up here, and I'm going to have you do this before we go to the laser. See this monitor button right here? Click that. Okay. This is a preview of what the laser is actually going to cut. Okay. You can see this number does not look like these numbers. Okay. This is set to engrave. These are set to cut. All of these are going to cut. Okay. So if I hit my simulation, there's the laser doing the scanning. Okay. 
It's kind of traveling back over here. It's going to do some work. I can even speed this up a little bit. Okay, now it's starting to cut. You can see it cutting out all my letters, looking great. That looks good. Again, I'm going to have you do the simulation for me before I take this to the laser. I'm going to close this out. So, essentially what I'm looking for, red cut lines, blue numbers. Raise your hand, I'll come over and we'll go to the laser. Thanks for listening.